so today's video is going to be a basic video on how to do GM trans tuning. Uh, the car in question is a 98 Corvette with a 4L60E automatic. Uh, what I'm going to go over is going to be pretty common and it's going to be pretty much useful for every GM from 98 until mm, almost now. Um, you're going to have to do things a little bit different depending on the vehicle, um, but we're going to go over it with this vehicle. This is extremely base. Uh, this is entry level. This is so that way you can quick do something to your car and drive it, be happy with it, and then you can play with it from there. So one of the first things you're going to do is a lot of times you have a tire or gear change and your speedometer is slightly off. So the first thing we want to do is go to edit, go to gear tire wizard, now, um, I don't know why that happened. So this here on the Corvette, this is a little bit goofy, so I'm not exactly sure here. Uh, what I think is we have tire divided by gear, and you type that number in here. Um, adjust speedo, scale transmission, hit adjust. Now on trucks, you're going to have gear and tire size. Make sure that the gear is exactly correct. As for the tire, put the tire one inch below what it is. So if it's a 33 inch tire, put it at 32 inches. Uh, that'll be your closest for your speedometer. From there, you're going to need a tool called Blue Cat. Okay, it's a BC Trans tool or Blue Cat Trans tool. You can download it online. <laughs> Once you download it, uh, this program will give you the best ability to tune a GM transmission. So you want to select the transmission, 4L60, go here, select the vehicle. So 98 Corvette fits into that one. You know, you got cable throttle bodies, GTO, Camaro, trucks, everything in there. Next, you want to have your rear end ratio, which is a 273 for this Corvette. Your tire, the exact size, 26.7. From there, you want to set your shift RPM at wide open throttle through all these, which in this case, I put them all at 6,500. Okay, um, idle RPM. If you got a big cam, you need to change that. Um, from I have my stuff all pretty much set exactly where I want it. So from there, you're going to hit export, export window. From here, you're going to make sure you have this correct vehicle selected. You can see basically it's based on the motor, and then they have some differences for Corvette. Um, shift table is going to be for a four speed. And we'll start from the beginning here. So after you export data, it is going to stay on front of the screen. From there, you want to pull your transmission, shift general, shift schedule. So you want to hit copy table. This is your main shift table. Okay, so here, and as you can see here, we got 44, 87, 255, 58, 111, 182. Big difference. So, paste. Okay, bam, that's in there right where it needs to go. I do it on, on all the tables I can. Performance, cruise, hot. Now you can adjust these differently if you want to have different tranny settings for cruise. Have to get those all pasted in. Wide open throttle shift table. Some vehicles have a two column. Hit two column, boom, shows up as two column. So hit it, copy table, same thing. It's going to switch it to your wide open throttle shift speeds. Add them to all of them. Next, wide open throttle RPM table, copy table. Go here, same exact thing. This is the easy part, paste. All these green ones. Now I have the stock file with the with the tune file behind it. So the green ones are ones that I've changed. So if you see that it's green, uh, you're gonna want to change it. Okay. Next, this is the torque converter table. Torque converter, apply release, copy. Okay. Normal. Uh, and you can see there isn't a huge amount of differences in between these two. Uh, hit paste and it's gonna adjust it. Now if you don't want torque converter to lock up in third at all, you can max the tables out for third gear same thing cruise hot performance i do it on all of them now obviously this is again this is for base okay um torque converter wide open throttle shift table um it's not every vehicle has this if it has it it's going to be right here so it doesn't have it don't worry about it so that's the basics now this allows the transmission to shift at the correct speed and rpm now once in a great while I've had one vehicle out of the last maybe 100 
where it would hit the rev limit. It would hit the a, a specific RPM and it just stop. Um, and basically, I had to lower the miles per hour on the shift in order for it to shift. It would just hang up. Next, we want to go to shift pressures. Okay. I up this slightly. So I up max pressure to 96 PSI. I go here and I type in 5%. Hit enter. Okay, add 5% to the whole brake shift pressure. I go to upshift. I go to normal. Same thing. I don't do anything crazy. You can play with this yourself. Add 5%. Here, same thing, I add 5%. You know, then I, I don't touch downshifts. I prefer to leave the downshifts alone. You can change the downshift modifiers. Shift timing. Desired shift time, okay. The performance one. This one's zeroed out, so you don't have to worry about it. Desired shift time. I take it and I do 5% again, but I do it the other way. I take 5% away, that way it shifts 5% faster. I don't do anything crazy. I do small percentages. That way you can drive it. You can see how you like it. You can add. You can take away. Very simple. 4L60Es are very finicky, so do not do too much at once. Uh, now, this is a customer's car. The customer uh, requests the vehicle to drive a certain way. Um, so I don't always go extreme on transmissions because I don't want to wreck transmissions. So... In this particular customer's car, uh, we disabled the ab abuse mode, so that way it would not go and reduce the torque. Uh, I don't recommend it. I don't do it on any of my personal vehicles. Um, I might mess around with the amount of torque reduction, things like that, but I do not completely disable it. Um, so that right there is basically your base, basic um Way to shift, or not way to shift, I'm sorry. Uh, your base transmission tune for a 4L60E. Uh, you can do the similar things on 6L80s and things like that. Uh, I will make a separate 6L80 video uh, because there is a couple of things that are particularly different. Um, so this is a base idea of where to start your transmission, uh, and it seems to work very well uh, as a starting point when I start doing tuning. So uh, it's a good way to start for yourself. It's a good way to start for people that are, are, are beginners or don't know a lot about it. It allows you to play around with it and kind of decide what you would like to do to your own vehicle or in the possible future customer's vehicles.